Question of the day, what type of puzzle do you like in a game? What does that mean? Well, it seems like a very specific question, but obviously we're watching a Time Stories review video here, so you know kind of the idea of the game we're playing. And it's an expansion review, so it's basically, if you're watching this, you already either have an idea of Time Stories in general, or you um, you kind of are on the fringe, you just want to find out about this one, just see the art, maybe you've heard of it before. But I'm going to assume the others of you have played this already, and just coming here to see what we thought about the game, you know, with our group. Uh, and that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be breaking this down into two sections. Obviously, spoilers will be at the the end of the video, and non-spoilers will be up front. So, front will be kind of generic and vague, and as much as we can talk about without saying too much. And then the spoiler section will be just no holds barred. We'll take a look at some of the cards and things like that. Talk completely ad nauseum about what we thought of this expansion. But the reason I ask is because Time Stories is full of puzzles. Some of the puzzles in Time Stories you can brute force your way through. Think of this as the who wants to be a millionaire method, right? There are four choices, multiple choice, right? Some of the Time Story puzzles are the Jeopardy method, the idea that you have to know it period. There's no multiple choice. There's no lifelines. There's no phoning a friend. You have to know the answer and you have to find it using your wits alone. Now, a lot of the unlock games have brought those aspects and moments to where you go, now, that that can't be the answer, can it? Surely that's not. It's the answer that's crazy. It's the greatest thing ever, right? Where you get up and you run around the table. Did that during Time Stories Asylum. Anyway, long intro I'm aware, but let's take a look right now what we thought of Time Stories Brotherhood of the Coast. Oh, frère de la Côte, as the original French version said. Let's take a look right now. So again, this is the non-spoiler section. If you want spoilers, hang out to the end of the video and we will have spoilers. I'll tell you, even put a little time code up here so you can see if you want to just skip ahead straight to the spoilers. So how does this one rank? Well, you see behind me here, we've got all of them except the Strella Drive there because I haven't actually tacked it on and it would be too low. How does this one rank? This is my top three. It's in the top three. My top three are Asylum, um, Lumen Fide, and Brotherhood of the Coast. These three are fantastic. This one might be number two. It's hard to push Asylum out of the way, even though Asylum had some of the weaker mechanics, it had some of the great puzzles, right? But uh, Brotherhood of the Coast might just be top two, maybe even tied for first because of how much I like. No, Lumen for Day was amazing too. And these two are very similar in, in style because of that reason, but I also just love uh, the theme. I love the pirates. I love all that sort of stuff. I mean, you know it's pirates, obviously, because of the swashbuckling symbol in the front. So don't act like that's a spoiler. Those of you who are like, oh, I didn't know it was pirates. Of course you did. Brother of the Coast takes place in, it says, 1685 NT. So you know that's kind of the more normal timeline versus Prophecy of Dragons, which is a bit of an alternate thing. Um, fun. The puzzles in it are great. The fighting in it and stuff like that is great. It adds a new thing. that, And, you know, people are always saying, Time Stories needs to do more. Uh, this one does it. When you open the box, you go, oh, that, that's really cool. That's that's different. I wasn't expecting that. So the good on you time stories. I want to say this is uh, this is Manuel. Yeah, good on you, Manuel. Or Manuel, Manuel. Sorry, Rosoy. I loved that. I love when you open that box and you see that there's going to be something new. You get excited. And then when you take out the rest of the contents of the box and you go, oh, okay, so not just... I don't even want to say too much about that because some people are like, let's open the box in front of our friends like the Ark of the Covenant in Indiana Jones. But uh, this one is really, really good. There's not a whole lot more I can say about it than that other than this is one of my top three here. And just so you know, it ranks with Lumen Fide and Asylum. So if you like those, this is the one for you. Unlike Estrella Drive and Marcy Case, which are my two least favorite, and it's still Time Stories is Time Stories, and we love playing Time Stories, this one has the puzzles, it has the fighting, it has the combat, it has the new mechanics, it has the story, it has the really cool twists and turns and so much fun and special rewards and special secrets and all that sort of stuff. And when I say rewards, that's lowercase rewards. I don't mean like special rewards, so don't think I'm spoiling, but the rewarding factor of playing through all the time stories. So people who say, do I need to play the rest of the time stories before I play Brotherhood of the Coast? No, but maybe you'd want to, is all I'm going to say. So that's it for the non-spoiler review. It is a fantastic addition to time stories. If you like time stories, you're going to like this. I mean, hands down, you're... 
basically time stories for me is like I'm never gonna stop until they shut the doors. Now I'm too lazy to print off print and play, so don't even ask me about that. Not not to say in a rude way, don't ask me, but like you can tell that I'm I'm just not gonna do it. So you know, if if you like them and you can tell me that they're really good, maybe I'll get up the nerve to actually go and print it out and cut it out and do all that sort of stuff. But until then, until I find out that a print and play is absolutely as good as one of these then maybe I'll check it out. Or if anybody's got any extra ones lying around, let me know and I'll uh, see what we can do. Anyway, that's Time Storage Brotherhood of the Coast non-spoiler review. Now I'm going to give you 10 seconds like always. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, spoilers, 3, spoilers, 2, spoilers, 1, spoilers, here we go. Spoilers, 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 now. If you're watching this and you're not expecting spoilers, stop right now. How about the fact there's a map in here? When you open it up and you get this map instead of just normal, there's a whole sideboard. And the fact that a sideboard is here is exciting, right? You get more things to do. Now, at its core, to be fair, it only basically just zooms out your main action by one step but it does add the traveling, and it adds the fact that there's so many decks of cards in here with the different islands. I loved that. I love the fact that you've got a world map, or kind of a more bigger map that you zoomed in on, and then zoomed in on those maps. I love that concept. I like the idea of having that map out there. I love the puzzle on this one. The fact that the puzzles are, you know, you you kind of get those ideas in your head. We you go, maybe this is what the puzzle means, and then you solve it, and you go, oh, that is what the puzzle means. Now, this is a mixture between Asylum and one of the other ones where you actually do have some choices that you can blunt force your way through. Now, you can lose a lot of time and a lot of uh, loss of life by doing it that way, but having this puzzle, it, it was just so good. It was so much fun doing that location puzzle, you know, the, uh, the, the compass puzzle, right? As well as, how about the ending? What ending did you get? Brian, what are you talking about? What ending did you get? We chose to follow the Cyans, not the Elohim or Eloi. So we are now Cyans, and we took item 12 from the Madam that's coming next. I think that's what we get. We get item 12 when the Madam starts. If you do this straightforward and you don't do any of the special kind of endings where you... So I think what it was, we chose not to kill the two guys who seemed like normal dudes, right? We were like, no, why would we want to murder these people, right? Uh, and we got a special ending for it. We got the critical success ending. And because of that, we're now Cylons. We're Cyons. Not Cylons. I keep saying that. Some of you are going to be like, it's not Cylons. That's Battle Star Galactica. Anyway, I almost said Babylon 5, which would have further alienated the rest of my people watching this. So I apologize. But the Cyons, we're now Cyons. And I, this is the first time they've said, hey, keep an item from the next game open item 12 in the next game so really excited about that how about the fact that the cubes came back right how about the fact that the green slime came back from expedition endurance so somebody uh me and carla now both have permanent green slime addiction now in our game so you and then we didn't realize that before that you're supposed to keep that for further adventure so when you start the game you need to sit that in front of you and you never show it to your friends which is kind of crazy if you think about it uh kind of like the cards in uh was it expedition endurance that says never ever look at these cards and if you do look at these cards you cost your characters points in the game pretty weird stipulations right but that was pretty cool um i really like the puzzle i like the map i like the combat i like the characters the characters were really good the art is fantastic in this one the story's great the locations are great it's just a fun expansion all the way around hands down one of my favorite expansions for Brotherhood of Coast. So let's take a look real quick at some of the more interesting things out of the box and then we'll wrap this thing up with actually it's pretty much wrapped up already but I just wanted to show you a few things out here that I thought were interesting. Uh, for those of you who did not get the critical success, let's take a look at it real quick. This is the critical failure. So by the way, you could also join the alloy. And when you do is you scan that code right there and you get a special video about it. But if you do the critical success, you scan a different code. Uh, one of our characters, let's see right here. Is this the green slime? No, it's not, but it says, you know, read this card out loud. Uh, there were some Easter eggs, right? There was this thing where you, where's the card? Oh, oh, that was the other thing. Buying a boat, having a boat was really neat. It was like uh, Seafall without, you know, the bad stuff in Seafall. It ended up being really boring. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find the card itself right here, but I don't know that I'll be able to find it. But there's the card that... Uh, Gave you the green slime. Anyway, I'm just kind of flipping through these and showing you all the different things. We could not murder this guy. Are you kidding me? How could we murder this guy? He was too nice. He's sitting there with a woman he loves. Why would you murder him? Anyway, um, mission successful, ongoing mission, mission failure. Critical. I'm looking for the critical thing. Okay, so we got this cube here. Is this the cube we got? Yeah, I think this is the one we got 
from the pyramid. This one's got a crack in it. So we got the one with the crack in it. We did not get the other one that's in the bottom of the water. How do you know there's another one in the bottom of the water? Well, I have a bad habit of reading all the time stories cards. This is the puzzle. Of course, it was fun to find out this puzzle, figure out the math in it, all that sort of stuff. Really great stuff. There's the cube that you get for uh, for future adventures as well. You know, keep this on for future adventures. So just really great stuff. The Jaguar got his moment, so keep word out. Do not ask me to spare the lives of the Spaniards. Also, yeah, obviously you want to kill the Spaniards if you have that guy with you. Uh, just so much good stuff. I know I'm just kind of running on at the mouth here, but I can't say enough good things about this mission. It just really was really was that good and so we we're big fans of it big 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 fans of this one uh there was the one puzzle though that i do have to knock it for in this location we we obviously got the thing about said you know uh neither sun nor moon will balance a man or something like that we assumed that when you stood in that location something would happen and you would actually turn or move one of these things but what it actually means is if you open these cards you're going to fall and so that was kind of annoying um, so we, we died, but it was not out of like, oh, we chose the wrong one out of memory. It was like, uh, we just kind of misunderstood that puzzle. So that is Time Storage Brotherhood of the Coast. Love this one. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.